Hi, thank you for joining me in today's webinar, Job Searching During Uncertainty, brought to you by the Experiential Learning Hub at the University of Guelph. I'd like to begin with a territorial acknowledgement for the University of Guelph. It is with great respect the Experiential Learning Hub acknowledges that the University of Guelph resides on the ancestral lands of the Attawandering people and the treaty lands and territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit. We uphold the significance of the Dish with One Spoon Covenant and the continuing relationship our Indigenous neighbours have with this land. We recognize that today this gathering place is home to many First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples and acknowledging them reminds us of our relationships to this land where we learn and work. So what you'll learn today are about the realities of job searching during a pandemic um, such as COVID-19 how to utilize the essential businesses in Ontario that Premier Doug Ford recently announced, what this actually means for you, and what you can do right now to help your job search be successful. Okay, so let's get started. This is me on your left. My name is Jill Ferguson, and I'm the Manager of Career Development here at the Experiential Learning Hub at the University of Guelph. And as you can see, I'm actually sitting right now at my kitchen table which is my makeshift office where we've been asked to work from home and do some physical distancing. A little about me, I have a BA and an MA from the University of Guelph, many, many years apart, mind you. I really enjoy working with my hands though, doing knitting, refinishing furniture, but I especially love cooking. So maybe I shouldn't be sitting so close to the kitchen while I'm doing these webinars. As you are all too familiar with, the COVID-19 pandemic has developed chaos, fear, uncertainty, and not only you, but employers as well. There are a lot of industries or sectors that have closed their doors or at least reduced their capacity greatly. However, there's also a lot of businesses that are still actively hiring and looking for talented employees. These businesses are part of what Doug Ford named the essential businesses in Ontario. So we can speak to those as a good place to begin your search. One place that I would suggest you begin is with the essential business list in Ontario, as defined by Premier Doug Ford and his government. The list is the second iteration of the essential business list and was correct as of April 5th, 2020. The 15 sectors are supply chain, food, services, services to the public restricted to alternative methods, financial services, telecommunication, IT infrastructure and their service providers, maintenance, transportation services, manufacturing, agriculture and food production, construction, resources and energy, community services, research, and healthcare and social services. Imagine the sheer number of employers within these 15 sectors. A few things to take into consideration is that A, the essential business list includes for-profit, not-for-profit, or any other entity that provides services within those sectors. B, it doesn't matter if the service is offered online, by phone, mail, doesn't matter. And finally, teleworking and online commerce for all businesses, whether they're on the essential business list or not, are always permitted. For a full and up-to-date list of all essential businesses in Ontario, go to Ontario.ca. So what does this mean for you? The essential businesses in Ontario list can mean a wide range of opportunities in these 15 sectors in which many are expanding their workforce at this time to meet the demand during this pandemic. Grocery stores are hiring, agricultural companies throughout the supply chain are needing people, as are online retailers, distributors, and delivery. Think Shopify and Amazon. Look outside what you would consider the traditional sectors that would hire individuals within your discipline. Something that you should have always considered, not just now, is that you have skills that can be utilized in a variety of sectors. Learn and understand what knowledge, skills, and attitudes you have or can develop that make you a strong candidate in a broad range of sectors. For more information on these important employability domains, visit uoguelph.ca slash experiential learning. A reminder, however, some organizations may not be hiring at the same extent as they were a year ago, 
But remember, we're at the beginning of this new reality, and once employers start to feel more comfortable conducting business in a new way that they're not used to, or once they consider what this means for their existing employees, they will hire again. It's going to change, it's going to morph, and the pandemic will end. Many students ask what I can do right now. Our response, make sure you're ready. Look inward, take the time to really think about the knowledge, skills, and attitudes you wanna utilize in your next work experience. You may have moved through your academic life with the goal of gaining a credential at the end, but not necessarily knowing what you're gonna do with it afterward. It's not uncommon for many students. Now's a good opportunity to take the time to reflect and really determine what you want out of your next job and your career. Update your resume. Again, most people, not just students, update their resume when they see a job they're interested in. They're rushed and don't necessarily take the time to really think about what they would like to portray to an employer. The document generally reads like a document of all past duties and responsibilities instead of a document that reads like a synopsis of the skills you can bring to future employers. Learn or brush up on new skills. Oh, what a world we live in where we can take classes from Harvard, Penn State or Stanford for free, or where every post-secondary student in the province has access to LinkedIn learning to develop skills in Excel, artificial intelligence, program management, or theater production. Take advantage of these opportunities, especially if during your research or when you read a job ad, you find that you don't have some of the skills an employer is looking for. Just because you didn't learn it as part of a degree program doesn't mean you don't have the skill. Your network is really important right now. Don't get me wrong, it's always important, but it's even more important during times of uncertainty. Get moving on joining professional groups related to areas of interest or sectors that you're wanting information on. Everyone, and I mean everyone, are moving to provide virtual or online professional development programs to keep their memberships in the know. Attempt to make yourself visible during these online opportunities. Ask questions, make comments, and reach out to other members for mentorship. If you don't have it already, join LinkedIn and or other social platforms where people in industries you're interested in are already meeting. Remember that you can also practice new skills, continue to develop your resume and build your network by doing good and helping others. Look around your own community for opportunities to expand, but also help. There are many benefits to not only you, but also to others. This was just a brief overview of what you can do to continue to move your job search forward during this time. Thank you for joining me today and good luck with your job search. I hope if there's one thing that you take away from this, it's that there are still opportunities available even during times of uncertainty. If you have any questions about this or other career development needs, please don't hesitate to contact us at the Experiential Learning Hub at recruit at uofguelph.ca, or you can also book an appointment with a career advisor by logging in with your central login to experienceguelph.ca. Thank you very much and good luck.